بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. In this part of the tutorial, I'm going to explain the code to write a navigation mission for the turtle bot. So first of all, you need to include libraries. We have move based action, simple action client. So these two libraries are responsible for creating a client that will contact the navigation server, which will be responsible for moving the robot towards the goal location. And here uh, we use the sound play package. We are going to use uh, sound notification whenever the robot reaches its destination or or fails to reach a destination, we are going to play a sound in this program. So here, basically, let's go to these coordinates. Remember from the previous tutorials, you have learned how to find the coordinates of location of interest. Now, in our example, we have four coordinates or four location of interest for the cafe, for the office number one, office number two, and office number three. So these are the values that we found in the previous tutorial. We just encode them here into some variables x cafe, y cafe, x office one, y office one, and so on. So this is the x, y coordinates of the four locations of interest. And then we're going to jump to the main function here. So as in any ROS program, we need to create uh, the node. Uh, we call it the map navigation node. We create a node handle and we're going to create a, a sound client object. This object will be used to play a sound. And then we define a variable path to sound and the path to sound it points to the folder where the sounds are stored so here in the gate take dog project folder we have a src and then we have a folder that's called sound and we have all the different sounds here basically we are going to use the short buzzer and also the sheet back and then we're going to ask the user to enter the location of interest and for this we have defined a method that's called choose so this method is defined below it's very simple it provides a simple menu where the user is requested to press a key so if it presses zero it's going to to, uh, select the cafe location if it presses one it selects the office number one two office number two three office number three and so on in order to finish the navigation mission the user has to press key so choose is going to return the choice of the user that is a character and based on this character here if the character is zero it's going to move to goal for uh, the cafe if the character selected is one it's going to move to the uh, office number one and so on if the character is uh, q it's going to leave the application so it's going to repeat do while choice is different from q and now this is gold reach it's a, a boolean variable that we have defined here uh, above this uh, boolean variable is uh, used to take the status of uh, the mission execution which can uh, fail or succeed so based on the value here if gold reach is equal to true it means if it is successful we're going to display a congratulations message and also then we are going to play a sound so to play a sound we are going to use the sc client that we have defined above here and then dot play way and then we have to specify the file to be played and the file here we provide the absolute path path to the sound plus the name of the file uh, that is going to be played and in the other case if the mission uh, fails because for example sometimes we may have dynamic obstacles or the destination might be uh, unreachable for any reason so the robot will not be able to head towards the goal and finally the mission will fail and in this case we are going to display a hard luck message and a short buzzer sound now the most important part of the code is the function move to goal so we define here a function move to goal and we provide the coordinates of the goal location and x and y coordinates of the goal location so how this is uh, implemented in ROS you already know that any robot in ROS deploys the navigation stack and the navigation stack is responsible for planning a path to the robot and executing the path for the robot so in order to invoke the navigation server we need first to create a client to send the request to the server and this client is uh, we create an action leap client from a simple action client and we use the move base action message and we denote the action client as AC and this is the name of the server that uh, we are going to contact so there is, there is an action server that is called move base so here we create a client and this client will be responsible for sending the request to the move base server and then before making any request we have to make sure that the server is uh, up and running so ac.wait for server we are going to wait for five seconds and then if it's available it's going to proceed for the next instructions if it is not available in this case it's going to loop until the server becomes available so now when the server is available it's going to come to this line we are going to create a goal location object so we use move base goal this is a message that defines a goal location and then we have to specify the parameters of this message so the parameters of 
the message are goal.targetpost.header. This is the frame ID. So here, this is very important. We have to specify the correct frame ID. You know that a robot is a collection of different frames and the word frame or the reference frame of the absolute coordinates is called the map frame in ROS. So here map, it means that the coordinate we are going to define later on are absolute. They are related to the word reference frame that is the map frame. If you change this one to, for example, base link or base footprint or whatever frame related to the robot. So in this case, the coordinates that you are going to specify here will not represent an absolute coordinate, but they will represent a relative coordinate. So let's make an example. If, for example, uh, I make base link here. So the coordinates expressed here will be the position with respect to the robot frame, not to the reference frame. But if I put the map frame here, it means it's the position on the map. So now if we put map, X goal and Y goal will be the position on the map. And of course, as you can see here, when we invoke the method, we're going to specify the locations that we have already determined on the map in the previous tutorial. Here we put target post dot post dot position dot X equal to X goal. And here the Y equal to Y goal. All the other values will be equal to zero. So here we don't have a Z component. And for the orientation, as you already know, we express the orientation in terms of quaternion. So we have X, Y, Z, and W. And we put all to zero except W to one. And this means the U or the orientation of the robot will be equal to zero. There is already a transformation methods that transforms between quaternion representation to a degree or radial representation. And that's almost done. And then when we formulate the goal location, we are going to send the goal using the client that we have defined here, the simple action client AC that we have defined. So ac.sendGoal is going to send the goal to the move base action server. And the move base action server is going to invoke the global path planner. The global path planner will look for a path toward the goal. If it finds a path, in this case, it will invoke the local path planner, which will be responsible for executing this path toward the goal and avoiding any kind of obstacle that might come in front of the robot. In case a path could not be uh, found for the goal location in this case, it will return either succeed or it will return uh, a failure. And based on this, we're going to display a message you have reached the destination or the robot failed to reach the destination. So this is a simple navigation program that allows you to program a navigation goal for the robot. And now we are going to uh, execute this code and see how it works. Now we are going to demonstrate the execution of the code. Uh, so we launch ROS launch gate doc map navigation stage PSU. Okay, so we can see now this, uh, this is the menu of the navigation program. And I remind that when we execute the map navigation st stage PSU, so we have first the turtle bot stage PSU, uh, which is included here. And the turtle bot stage PSU is going to launch the turtle bot stage simulator along with, with the PSU map, as you can see here. So you can see that here we define the turtle bot parameters. And then this is the map that we are using PSU.yaml and we are going to use psu.word for the stage. And here are the default locations, the initial location for the robot. It's 20.92 and 11.92. So now if we go to RVs, uh, RVs we have here stage simulator and here we have our control command. This is the menu of our application. And now let's start to execute a mission for uh, the robot, for example, to go to, uh, let's go to the cafe. I'm going to press zero. So when we press zero, you can see now the robot is now navigating towards the cafe location that we have specified before. And this is the sound of the ship bell that is played. And now after reaching the cafe, I'm going to take the robot to office number one, for example, so I'm going to press one. the robot now is moving toward the destination. And you can see the same 
Let's see. Let's take it to office number three. Okay, so this is the demonstration about the navigation using the TurtleBot simulator. Thank you for watching.